clients. A super easy way to make money, and they always come back for more because they're super satisfied with their product. Oh, wrong script. Today, I decided to check out the top five Minecraft Bedrock Edition clients. These clients have cool features such as custom capes, crosshairs, and even the ability to change the UI. Watch the videos to the very end to see the top five clients for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Trust me, it will shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over the top 5 Minecraft clients for the Bedrock Edition. These should be working for MCPE, Xbox One, Windows 10, and PS4, Nintendo Switch, the usual. And we're going to go ahead and go over the best of 2021. I did a few videos on the channel before, and you guys killed the support on it. Oh wow, that cape is actually pretty cool. I'm going to go to do a video in custom capes pretty soon. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number 5 spot, and let's go ahead and do it. Coming in at number 5, we do have Fortress Client. So this is actually by far one of my favorite clients out of the list. I'm going to go ahead and showcase the UI completely changes. I do want to go ahead and showcase some other features that they did go ahead and add. And you're going to see a constant theme with these that there's going to be a ton more features than just changing the UI. So when you get into here, we could see that this guy actually has... Oh, whoa, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if that's a cosmetic for the hive. But we could see that we have a halo and we also have wings and a cape a little bit overkill in my personal opinion i wish you can go ahead and turn this on and off i'm not sure if you can but it's definitely pretty interesting but let's go ahead and take a look into the inventory and we can see that nothing really has changed you can see your character here and overall this is by far one of my favorite clients it also has the keystrokes as well as you can see we're pressing a lot of buttons so it's kind of glitching out but it is actually able to tell us let's press w and it's a little bit weird because like it's pressing both of them and I believe that's because we're at like a diagonal path. I'm not too sure. But let's see if we go press S. Okay, yeah, it's still a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. This is actually a bit strange. But anyways, we can go ahead and check out some other features of it. Another cool feature that I didn't even notice that it will tell you the direction like east, west, north. It's actually pretty cool. One thing I want to go ahead and mention is when you pause the game, it actually does have... Whoa, what the heck? Okay, apparently that's a new feature of the hive. Did not even notice that. Wow, they are really putting a lot of work into the server. But when you pause the menu here, you can see that you can see your character and it has completely changed, which is really, really nice. I do want to go to take a look at their settings as well. So let's go to take a look. So clicking on settings, we do have it right here. So let's go to take a look. And this is where you can manage different things. So overall, I do have to go ahead and give them a lot of props on this. Really good job. They have all their custom information here and you can even change the resource packs. Coming in at number four, we do have Optifine for MCBE. This is actually a brand new client. I don't know how long it's been around for. I've been seeing a bunch of different variations of Optifine, but this may actually be one of the best. So let's go to take a look. So jumping on the hive, let's go to see the features. You can see that there is a custom background exactly like Optifine usually is, and that's a pretty cool shaders picture. But now that we're on it, we can see that there's a lot of different features going on. So the menu here has changed and I believe it makes things a little bit more optimized to be played. Everything looks a lot clearer. I'm not too sure what they necessarily did, but there's definitely some features to go ahead and check out. So the main feature of this client is that it is going to increase your FPS, and it is true. I think textures are more optimized to become way better. You can go ahead and get up to like 200 FPS. A lot of people are lying when it comes down to FPS boost, but as you can see, this definitely feels very clean. Honestly, I can't really attest for like a device that's already at 60 FPS and you're not struggling to run Minecraft, but if you are struggling to run Minecraft, definitely go ahead and install this client. It is pretty big basic but it definitely will go out and get the job done and this feels very clean and very minimalistic i'm just looking at the textures and just everything feels very nice pause menu you can see like there's no texture here everything's super clean minimalistic even when you pause here it's actually a different ui as well also with Optifine, we could see that they do have a bunch of different settings and it looks really nice. So I'm actually pretty happy that they went ahead and changed the UI a little bit. This has changed and also right here where you can go to your settings and all this. This has actually changed as well. Actually, this is not settings. This is achievements, but this is still cool nonetheless. Another cool thing is this UI right here. This is very cozy, especially when it comes down to the winter season. We can go ahead and spin our character around and this just looks really, really nice. It's typically like a, a gray color but now it's white 
And this is where the settings are, so we can change a bunch of different things about our Minecraft experience. But what I'm going to be changing is probably nothing, because all my settings are perfect. But anyways, let's go to jump into the number three spot. Coming in at number three, we do have the Rainbow Pie client. This is 100% an overhaul of Minecraft's UI, and it looks really, really good. Let me show you exactly why you should go ahead and use this client, because it looks completely different, and it's definitely something that you may want to go ahead and use. So when you jump into the game, it doesn't seem like anything's too different, but take a look at the bottom left-hand side screen. We can see that the chat is completely different. It's pretty insane, so I'll go ahead and just type something random in here doesn't even matter and we can see that i have youtube rank and it does go ahead and show up if we go ahead and pause the menu is completely changed and this is basically a full ui change and i like to go ahead and consider this a client because it does have the text exactly like how you would have on pc and it also has it like as animated which is actually pretty cool you don't typically see this in many clients and i feel like this definitely deserves a spot on this list but there's not really too much to go ahead and showcase it's basically a ui change and it also has has a pretty interesting way to display the chats but overall very nice client and I would recommend going ahead and using it if you're looking for something a little bit different also here is the pause menu as well as you can see it looks a hundred percent different and overall very very nice but anyways let's go to jump into the number two spots Coming in at number two, we actually do have the Bed Zoo client. I don't know if they updated this since last time, but this is a pretty clean and minimalistic client. So as you can see, it does have the keystrokes on the top right, which is definitely a nice touch. I'm not going to lie. Nothing too major over here. But if we go ahead and press E on our keyboard, we can see that the menu is a little bit changed. And if we go ahead and pause the menu, it has been changed to this generic one. I've seen Astro use this. I've seen a bunch of different clients use this. So this isn't too original, and it is an original asset, but I really do like to keep my clients pretty minimalistic, and that's why this is at number two. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number one spot, because it will actually shock you. Coming in at number one, I know what you guys are thinking. This client looks pretty familiar, and it is actually T-Client. So let me showcase some of the features that it actually has. It's pretty minimalistic, but it definitely gets the job done. So, this client looks pretty minimalistic, but it does have some pretty interesting things that I do like to go out and use. So, it does have a highlight for the block, so it could be very useful for HCF or UHC. I'm not 100% sure which is which, but if we go ahead and use this fishing rod, you can see that the indicator tells us that it's actually red. We actually have a boat that would go ahead and change colors, and it'll be blue when it's fully loaded, which is pretty cool. We actually seen that in some texture packs, but most clients don't take advantage of that, and overall this is definitely one of my favorite clients due to all of these things but there is one more thing that is pretty helpful i don't know if it's still working but let's say we go ahead and get ourselves a chest here so we can go ahead and get one real quick should be easy then we dig all the way down here so let's go ahead and do that real quick so we can easily do this and technically this could be considered cheating i'm not sure guys but take a look at this i believe this should still work I'm not 100% sure, but we should be able to go ahead and see it. I guess they actually patched this glitch, but this was pretty interesting when it first released because this allowed us to go ahead and see underneath ground. We could easily find different things, and it isn't a hack client. It isn't meant to be used for cheating. It's mainly used for, like, look at that right there. We can see that there's a chest underground. We could actually dig to it, and it's definitely helpful. So me personally, I use this for my seed showcases when I go ahead and do those. I like to go ahead and use this. So I can easily find chests, but it could be considered cheating because you can see people through walls. And I'm not 100% sure if it can be detected. It's not a hack client, but it's definitely an interesting client that could help you, especially when you're playing like Minecraft survival or something like that. But what do you guys think about this top five list? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Did I miss a client? Let me know down in the comment section below. I wanted to include clients that are going to be working for all the different devices. There are some mcpe android exclusive clients and there also are some clients exclusive to pc edition which i don't want to exclude anybody from this list i want you guys to go ahead and try out every single one i will be making some new lists just for pc and things like that so definitely stay tuned but i'll see you guys next time for the next video on shift replays bye